Today, I'm going to talk about eggs and what you need to know before you eat them. First, there are lots of misconceptions about eggs, and I want you to know that eggs are a healthy food. They are a great source of protein, and if they're high-quality eggs, they also provide bioactives called carotenoids that are beneficial for your vision. And eggs, which used to be thought of being harmful to your heart, actually have proven benefits uh, for heart health. Meet Dr. William Lee, a world-renowned Harvard-trained medical doctor, researcher, and president and founder of the Angiogenesis Foundation. His work has led to more than 40 FDA-approved therapeutics and devices for cancer, cardiovascular disease, wound healing, and vision loss. He is also a New York Times best-selling author of Eat to Beat Disease, The New Science of How Your Body Can Heal Itself, and Eat to Beat Diet, Burn Fat, Heal Your Metabolism, and Live Longer. Disclaimer. The information provided in this video is for educational purposes only and is not a substitute for professional medical advice, diagnosis, or treatment. Always seek the advice of your physician or other qualified health provider with any questions you may have regarding a medical condition. Do not disregard professional medical advice or delay in seeking it because of something you have read or seen in this video. Eggs are brain healthy, and the reason is eggs can are a dietary source of something called choline. This is another bioactive. Choline is required for nerve development. It's also involved with brain health. You also need choline for muscle health and liver health and nerve health as well. A single egg contains 100 milligrams of choline. Now, what's the daily recommended intake of choline? It's between four and 500 milligrams a day. So one egg with 100 milligrams gets you 20% of the way. Right? That's a good way to actually get that stuff that's necessary for nerve health, including brain health. Dr. William Lee recommends including eggs in your diet due to their impressive nutritional profile. Eggs are rich in high-quality protein, vitamins, and minerals, making them a powerhouse of essential nutrients. One of the key components in eggs is choline, a nutrient that supports brain and nerve health. Each egg yolk contains about 126 milligallers of choline, which significantly contributes to the recommended daily intake of 550 milligallers for men and 425 milligallers for women. Eggs have two main parts, the egg white and the egg yolk. I ate eggs that when you cracked them open and into a bowl, the yolks were bright yellow like the sun. But it turns out that the healthy pasture-raised uh, and pasture-fed hens, when you crack their eggs, the yolk is orange-red. It's like the blood moon as opposed to the bright yellow sun. And that, uh, that uh, blood moon, that red-orange pigment, that comes from carotenoids. So you know that those eggs are going to be healthier for you with um, your bioactives. The egg white makes up about 60% of the egg's weight and is primarily water, 88%, and proteins, 10.4%, with the most common protein being ovalbumin. It also contains small amounts of carbohydrates, fats, and minerals like sulfur, potassium, and iron. Most of the carbohydrates in egg white are in the form of glucose. The yolk accounts for about 28% of the egg's weight and is high in fats, which make up 60% of its dry weight. These fats include triglycerides and cholesterol. The yolk also contains proteins, mainly in the form of lipoproteins, which help mix things together. Additionally, the yolk has minerals, especially phosphorus, and a small amount of carbohydrates. And it turned out that some of the studies that led to the thinking that egg eating was harmful to the heart had to do with the fact that we didn't know much about cholesterol. We didn't know about LDL and HDL. We just all thought cholesterol was cholesterol. We didn't know that there were there was good cholesterol. So that wasn't even being measured in the studies. All right. And what I told you was that eating eggs actually raises good cholesterol without raising the bad cholesterol. Eggs are known to be a very nutritious food packed with essential nutrients that are important for the growth and development of embryos. The proteins found in eggs are especially valuable because they are of high quality, meaning our bodies can use them effectively. Research has shown that egg proteins have several health benefits, including fighting off harmful substances, protecting against infections, and helping to lower blood pressure. When it comes to cancer prevention and treatment, there is increasing interest in the special properties of egg proteins that can help support the immune system. Cancer is a major health issue worldwide, and scientists are actively researching new ways to treat it including immunotherapy, which helps the body fight cancer. Studies are looking into how egg proteins and their smaller pieces, 
called peptides, might help in fighting cancer by triggering the death of cancer cells, protecting our DNA from damage, and reducing inflammation in the body. When you actually have hens that are naturally raised and eggs that are taken to the market, right, shortly after they're laid, um, outside of a factory, by the way, what happens is that the egg uh, gets a natural coating as the hen squeezes out the egg. It coats the egg, the entire outside of the egg, with a natural bacterial resistant coating. All right. Now think about it. In uh, a naturally raised chicken is going to be ra uh, laying eggs into a nest. Nest is not refrigerated, and there's bacteria in there, um, and that's why this coating, this antibacterial coating, natural antibacterial coating, is provided by the mom, by the hen. All right. Now, when you actually bring those eggs right to the market and then buy them and bring them to your home, guess what? You can keep them on the counter for even a couple of weeks and they're gonna be fine. You don't need to put them in the refrigerator. A study published in the journal Poultry Science looked into how proteins found in eggs might help fight cancer and support the immune system. The study focused on specific egg proteins, such as ovalbumin, ovotransferrin, and lysozyme, along with the smaller pieces, peptides, that come from these proteins. The researchers discovered that these proteins have several beneficial effects, including acting as antioxidants, fighting germs, and especially helping to combat cancer. They found that some of the peptides created by breaking down egg proteins can trigger a process called apoptosis, which is a way for the body to get rid of unhealthy cells, including cancer cells. This process is important for stopping tumors from growing. The results showed that egg proteins and peptides can help protect cells from damage to their DNA and can also make it harder for cancer cells to spread. Furthermore, the study explained that these proteins can influence the immune system by either boosting or calming down the production of certain substances, cytokines, that help control inflammation. This ability to adjust the immune response is important because it can improve the body's capacity to fight off cancer and enhance overall immune health. Eggs help to increase blood levels of the carotenoids called lutein and zeaxanthin. Remember I told you, Carotenoids are, you know, these natural bioactives are found in eggs. What do they do? They help maintain healthy vision. They improve the function of your retina, the carpet layer of nerves that's in the back of your eye. When light goes into your eye, it passes through the front, the cornea, through the lens, and it gets focused on the back of your eye, the retina, and lutein and zeaxanthin help retinal health. According to a study conducted as part of the Nurses' Health Study in the journal Breast Cancer Research, eating more eggs during adolescence may lower the risk of developing breast cancer later in life. This research looked at the eating habits of participants who filled out a questionnaire about their diet during high school. The study included 843 women who were diagnosed with breast cancer between 1976 and 1986, and they were compared to 10 times as many women of the same age who did not have breast cancer. The results showed that for each additional egg consumed daily, the risk of breast cancer decreased significantly. Specifically, the study found that women who ate more eggs had a relative risk of 0.82, meaning they were less likely to develop breast cancer compared to those who ate fewer eggs. The researchers emphasized the need to focus on specific foods rather than just nutrients when looking at dietary data. They pointed out that while eating eggs seemed to reduce breast cancer risk, Butter consumption was associated with a slight increase in risk. This study highlights the potential benefits of including eggs in a young person's diet and suggests that they may help protect against breast cancer, while also warning about the risks of consuming other fats like butter. When you're cooking your eggs, cook them in a healthy way, right? So I know if you're gonna cook eggs like scrambled eggs with some butter, it tastes really great. A healthier choice is to use extra virgin olive oil if you're scrambling your eggs. All right, now you get the polyphenols and the nice flavors uh, from the extra virgin olive oil into the scrambled eggs. The, the eggs will taste better and they'll even be healthier because the polyphenols will be in there uh, as well. And by the way, if you're gonna do scrambled eggs that way, uh, or you're gonna create an omelet, chop up some nice herbs, chop up some mushrooms, you can actually make a healthy egg even healthier by what you cook with it and serve with it. Dr. Lee also highlights the importance of context in their consumption. Some studies have linked egg consumption to increased risks of diseases. Yet the negative impacts often stem from what we eat with our eggs. Processed meats like bacon and sausage, 
or refined carbohydrates like white bread and sugary foods, rather than the eggs themselves. When eggs are part of a balanced diet that includes plenty of fruits and vegetables, their effects on cholesterol and overall health are minimal. For healthy individuals, consuming up to one egg per day is generally considered safe and nutritious, translating to about seven eggs per week. However, for those with heart disease, diabetes, or high cholesterol, it's advisable to limit egg consumption to around three eggs per week. This moderation helps manage cholesterol intake while still benefiting from the nutrients eggs offer. The people who are eating eggs don't actually have high levels of harmful cholesterol, all right? In fact, what they have, they have better levels of good, healthy cholesterol, all right? So what does the American Institute for Cancer Research have to say about eating eggs? Right now, research doesn't show a strong link between eating eggs and the risk of ovarian cancer. Some studies have found a slight increase in ovarian cancer risk among women who eat the most eggs each week compared to those who don't eat eggs. However, these studies often have problems accurately measuring how many eggs people eat and considering other factors that could influence cancer risk. Many studies on this topic haven't taken into account factors like being overweight, which is known to increase the risk of ovarian cancer. The American Institute for Cancer Research has reviewed the global research on eggs and ovarian cancer and found that the evidence is too limited to draw any solid conclusions. More research is needed to better understand this connection. High egg consumption might theoretically lead to the formation of risky compounds because of their cholesterol content. However, eggs are also rich in choline, an essential nutrient that might help keep DNA healthy and reduce cancer risk. Despite their high cholesterol, eating eggs does not directly link to cancer risk. Some people might need to limit eggs for heart health reasons. But according to the latest dietary guidelines for Americans, eggs are low in saturated fat and can be part of a healthy diet. I've just told you, eating eggs is not just okay, it's good for your heart, good for your brain, good for your eyes, good for your liver. What really matters is the overall quality of your meal. If you usually eat eggs with processed meats like bacon or sausage, refined grain toast or fried potatoes, try healthier options instead. Make a vegetable-filled omelet with whole grain toast and add sides like sliced tomatoes, salad, melon, berries, or other fruits and vegetables. To maximize the health benefits of eggs, Dr. Lee suggests choosing quality sources such as pasture-raised or organic eggs from local suppliers, which are typically more nutritious and free from harmful additives. He also recommends healthy cooking methods like poaching, boiling, or scrambling eggs with a small amount of extra virgin olive oil rather than frying to reduce the intake of unhealthy fats. Pairing eggs with healthy foods like avocados, tomatoes, leafy greens, and whole grains is another way to enhance their nutritional benefits. Avoid combining them with processed meats or refined carbs. If you found value in this video, please be sure to subscribe and leave a comment to support the channel.